Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to a different video. Today, I'm riding solo. I'm here at General RV in Ocala, Florida, and we're running out of inventory for uh, us to show you. I am flying out to Ohio on Wednesday to record with Will, but I needed a video for tonight. And uh, I don't know if I'm bringing this video up in the part one and part two. I don't know. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll have a video for Wednesday with somebody else filling in for Will. But in today's video, guys, uh, since we don't have anything new here, we're going to show you some used inventory. So uh, what we're going to do is I have a list of everything used that we have. And we're just going to take a look at it, kind of freestyle. So this first one here, we're going to start with the fifth wheels. Okay. And this is a big horn, but it's sold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this Montana High Country. It's the uh, FL375. This one is available. It's a 2018 Montana High Country. So again, guys, this isn't your regular Keystone Montana. So, for an example, a Montana is sister products to the Keystone Alpine. A Montana High Country is sister products to the Keystone Avalanche, okay? This one's very nice. Look at that. It has a door on the other side. Oh, this stupid half door. Okay, there's the shower there. Weird looking shower. Definitely have the right width but and height, but definitely not the right depth. Very nice bedroom in here. Look at that thick mattress. That's better than my mattress at home. And then up here. Okay, so this is a front living. Very nice unit. Very nice. Now, all the units that we're looking at today is available. And you can do two things. Here's what I recommend. Well, one, you should fill out the mat cash form online no matter what. That way you get your mat cash. But also you should call the Ocala store because with used, they sell very, very quick. Oh man, and look at that, the spider comes with it. Okay, so that's a toy hauler there. That one I believe is sold. Uh, nope, it's not sold. So this is a 2017 Keystone Raptor 355 TS. And do me a huge favor, guys. Let me know if you like this type of video, if you want me to show more used units or not. Again, I much prefer showing new units because once this unit sold, we can't get another one. But, you know, I know it's called Matt's RV Reviews, but we're not Matt's RV Reviews without you, the people. Okay, now look at this. This is very weird. This is a toy hauler, but it has this type of flooring. I wonder if the customer did that themselves. I don't know if the manufacturer did it. No, I can tell you they did it themselves. They had to have because there's not even tie downs back here. Very interesting. Nice little kitchen setup over there. See, look, I think they did the same in the bedroom as well. Nice bathroom. Okay unit for 2017. And again, look at that mattress. Now that mattress doesn't look that great. I'd probably replace that. Yeah, this one's definitely been well used, well loved. Um, and see, that's weird right there. That little half, like you got these two big stuff. It's a dumb unit. I don't know. Maybe not, but you guys see what I'm saying there? That's kind of weird. I don't even know what they were thinking on this one. Hmm. Okie dokie. Let's continue on. Now this is a Keystone Montana. Now this one is the 3791 RD. So the, re the real Montana is not the high countries. You know, they're gonna have the six point hydraulic leveling. They're gonna have the nice uh, features, four seasons. They're gonna have these solid steps with the hydraulic assist and wow yep i mean instantly you can tell the difference between the montana and the montana high country 
Okay, look at this, guys. See, this is why I like used. They did some customizations here. They took the dinette out. That's what I would have done. And they made an office area. I love that. Very, very nice feature. Now, this one definitely looks a little different, again, with the flooring. It doesn't look like they did it themselves, but it doesn't look like flooring that I'm used to seeing in an RV. Very nice cabinetry. Now, see, look, look at these steps. These are all even. That one step was really dumb. Look, now when you buy used, you're gonna get some wear and tear there. Look at this door. It's just part of the nature of the beast when buying used. But you save a ton of money. Okay? You know, it doesn't matter if you're buying from us, from Camping World, from Lazy Days, from Private Party, from your best friend, from your mother, father, aunt and uncle, or uncle. When you're buying used, you're definitely gonna wanna hire an independent RV inspector just to look over the RV to make sure that it's okay for you to purchase. Now here's Jayco Eagle. I believe this one's for sale. Uh, Eagle 321 RST 2018. Very nice. Nice double awnings there. Very nice. Look at that. There's a worm caught up in a spider's web. Hashtag worm. <laughs> All right. Let's check this baby out. Okay. Nice mid pro fifth wheel with the residential refrigerator. Now you can definitely tell from the inside. Jayco has made some big improvements aesthetically in their more recent models than this model. But listen, if you don't like that farmhouse look and you want a Jayco, that's this more contemporary brown look, this might be the unit for you guys. Okay. Still very nice looking. And out of all of them, this one... Yeah, this one looks the best maintained or the least used, however you want to put it, out of the other ones. So that's pretty nice. Cool, so I think that's it for the fifth wheels. Now we're going to check out some travel trailers. Hang on, there's a couple more fifth wheels, but these are all sold. No, I lied. This one's not sold. This is the Primetime Crusader 320 DEN. Very nice. It's going to be a nice layout. Say it with me. Psh, America. All right, guys. Oh, look at this. Very different. I do not like that. I like that. I do not like how high that is. My legs would be swinging away. Swing. Okay, very tight in here. But if you like this floor plan style, then this might be a great unit for you. There's a lot going on here in this unit for it being a fifth wheel. Sorry guys, gotta get my notes right. Still really good condition. North south bed. Two AC units. Very nice. So those were all the fifth wheels. Now we're about to take a look at the travel trailers. And before we look at the travel trailers, I wanna take a quick second to thank our new sponsor, campgroundviews.com. Now, I have a video linked down below and also right here of me interviewing the owner of campgroundviews.com. Make sure you check it out after this video. But what campgroundviews.com is, it's the Google Earth of campsites. They've partnered with recreation.gov so you can virtually tour the campground, see the spot, see if you're able to fit in the spot, if you're able to park your RV in the spot, and you're able to book your spot all through campgroundviews.com. It's a revolutionary website and it makes everybody say, why haven't I thought of that? They've partnered with Matt's RV Reviews to do an exclusive deal 
So right now they're doing big discounts, but you gotta check out the video with the owner, Mark from campgroundviews.com. So again, I linked that video down below. You all see it at the end of this video. Let's continue and let's take a look at what used travel trailers we have. 2014 V Cross Platinum. These Vinos, huh? Six in one, half dozen in the other. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. This one I think I'm gonna like. Yeah, see this one I like it. When they put the kitchen up here, it's different, it's unique, it's funky. Speaking of funky, this unit does not smell funky. It actually smells really good. This unit's in really good condition. It smells clean and fresh and beautiful. And it's a 2014. See, that's what, that's what I'm saying, guys, you know? Like, everybody's all like, oh, buy used over new. But, dude, there's some 2019 units back there that smelt funky and rotten. And you don't know how people take care of their RVs. Whereas you got freaking one that's eight years old here. And it's better than some of the newer units you know cool that was a nice trailer and it has the electric stabilizing jacks and everything okay here's a mallard now you guys will never see the mallard on the show do you guys know why this is a 2019 mallard so the reason why you won't see a new heartland mallard on the show because these are camping world exclusive units were there gander rv exclusive units who knows gander camping world six and one half dozen in the other so we sell the heartland north trail and the mallard's the sister product it's just with the name mallard there, there's a few of them that camping world has mallard coleman freedom elite motorhomes uh, a couple other ones we're gonna see another one that is a camping world exclusive but again well one this one's used two if you like this unit new you just wouldn't be buying a mallard you'd be buying a north trail or something like that whatever it's called oh that's what that's called sister products Laredo, I think, sold. Yep. Now this is a Mesa Ridge. Is this one available? Nope, sold. Gone in, like Nicholas Cage, gone in 60 seconds. Now here's an Igo by Evergreen. Now this unit's gonna be different you, you really want to make sure you get a good deal on a unit like this because evergreen's now out of business so it's going to be hard for you to get replacement pieces even though most of it's the same but you know you know what i'm saying whenever it's out of business whenever they're out of business they're just a little bit more difficult you know and I can see why they're out of business it's as generic as it comes you know which isn't a problem if that's what you're looking for but I feel like when you're a smaller manufacturer you're a smaller company yeah look no mattress in here when you're a smaller manufacturer and you're a smaller company you can't be generic you gotta be you gotta know what you're doing or not know what you're doing. You gotta be different. Be different. Okay, here's a nice one. Heritage Glen 282RK. It's a great rear living room floor plan. Electric stabilizing jacks. Really, really nice. Looks like there's a little outside kitchen there. Okay. Oh yeah. This is a great layout. One of my favorite layouts especially for a travel trailer solid surface countertops high ceiling there's your tv there's just some good good stuff right here
here's an east to west silver lake now east to west we just became an east to west towable dealer and you'll see us show that a little bit later on to the show but the silver lake is another brand that is exclusive to camping world and i believe so this one is bunk bits i believe the competition to what we're going to be carrying it's called the della terra or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but see that's what camping world likes to do which i am not knocking them for it i would do the exact same thing so i respect them for that but what they do is they they talk to the manufacturers and again this is the same as the other unit but it's just called the silver lake which then nobody can shop against because only camping world sells them now these are one of my favorite ones big shout out to josh from halo rv they sell these geo pros and i just think they're so cool looking this one's already sold but let me tell you very expensive very very nice and then here's another one of my favorite units so look at this i'm actually kind of mad that freedom express doesn't make these anymore just because they got too pricey for what they are this is a hybrid with three beds in it also with this one it has very heavy tongue weight it may uh i've towed one of these uh without sway bars before and boy was i worried because you got all that tongue weight going down but look at this this is a small 23 foot box that has one two three sleeping areas big sleeping areas for adults as well and then look you can already tell from the outside and the inside how good of condition that it's in and that's because the owner had a cover with it which is very smart you got your tv up there okay very nice really nice and again if you want something small and you have big kids or if you go camping with adults i mean you got three queens three queen mattresses in a small travel trail like this that's camping another thing i would not buy a pop-up camper it's not my style but i would 100 percent get a hybrid that's what they call a hybrid half travel trailer half pop-up now this one's available as well it's a 2014 clipper 17 fq really nice single axle great starter trailer very simple for two people maybe even one person Ooh, this one's stinky somebody didn't empty the black tank and we're not gonna go back there Ooh, oh <coughs> Woo. Mm. might want to get that oh not first thing in the morning yeah <laughs> that one stunk that one's the stinkiest okay and then here we got a jayco j flight the 267 bhs the number one selling the number one selling travel trailer of all time and it remains the number one selling that one's already sold Okay. 246 RKS. That one is sold as well. Well, that's it, guys. That's the video. Thank you, guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. Uh, do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let me know if you like videos like this or if you don't like videos like this. Um, you know, it's, it's again, today I just really needed a video and we, we barely have any used units. Like you guys are seeing units, but these are all units that we've already done videos on. So it's getting real tough. So to do this, to show 15 to 20, uh, used trailers and fifth wheels, I think was a lot of fun. Big shout out to the sponsor, campgroundviews.com. Again, guys, we're going to have a video show up right there. Make sure you check out the video of me interviewing the owner. They have a special promotion going on to kind of launch what they're doing. And it's a great company, great people. And it, more importantly, it's a great product that 
if you like to go to state and national parks, you're really going to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.